Greetings, welcome back to Pyre. Let's continue our journey. Where? I forgot. Nest of Trieste, of course. Oh, fun. Ooh, see what else. Oh, what's up? Below, amid the desolation of flagging hands, you see big bird roots from which you first embarked by sea. You know how its venerable populator is fighting? I am certain that big bird troop must have left a strong impression on you all. It is not easy to forget. I've known her since before my exile, or hers. She's been here a long time. I've sent my agents to repay her for assisting me and to send her our regards. The old wagon must have been in need of some repairs. It was. Oh, nice of course. This stuff, this part is pretty good. Users, you have to remember who you are. Oh, sisters, <laughs> you are under attack. Oh, no, we are merely being mocked by none other than the nightmares. Mock us all you wish, the wastrels of the Commonwealth. Beside of you. In that utterly outlandish way again. Your mere existence is an affront to the act of flight. Would that my sister and I could so tireless and free as woman was once with it at me. We must resort to such ignorant mood of travel such as you. Now stay away from us. Lest our vengeance should extend beyond your commonwealth and become much more personal in nature. Leave me alone! Something about the strange island you see below draws your attention. This dwells are at your place from the Isle of Kyomer. Even the scribes themselves do to avoid the place. Let us fly on. Mm, it's pretty. Looking for more points of interest. The unmistakable remains of Xivia's horse headed, which protrude from the ash and fire there below. Some have taken to be a work of sculpture later. The tale of a titan sold by Saint Trius the Priest that is more unbelievable than the thought that some daring exiles over many years have the titan's research out of stone. That as it may, the climate and the cliffs are home now to exert hearts such as the essence who invest here when first you arrive. Even they do not know more of the locale's sacred significance. Wait, so did that or? Oh, whoa. Mm, we haven't been here earlier. So, let's not over here. You wake and touch us down in Black Basin where you first met Wolfred and Pamika as well. You briefly wonder at what might have happened had you passed north coast as you consider what to do with the remains of the afternoon. Also. Black Basin. The continent we call Black Basin shall one day tear itself apart, arriving upon black and molten crags, to tolerable only by the harp Triesta, the pressed onward toward a suffocating mood. This land fell to us somehow primordial. Deep in its roots and noxious crevices lay unenumerable clues as to its ancient history. But we had little time to excavate, for our supplies by then were thin. Further, we were lost. Our best attempts at circumnavigation all had failed. 
It was Luscronian who reached out at last onto the stars and they revealed the way. Then he at last could see the sacred Mount Alodion there in the distance. A visit from my favorite finger? What is the occasion? Very well, mm. let us consider who among those idiots is worth in my little limitless time. You ask Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Hedwig. You must mean that normal boy, so innocent that one. I should have a lot of work to do with him. Then let us bring him forth. Soon Hedwig appears in heat of summer. Hey, my friend, what's going on? Nobody gets answered. Never. Apparition Sandra appears and an Alpha steals her mask. Listen well, boy, you answer to me here. Understood. You are a fool, do not talk back to me. Your alliance on your friends is such a burden upon them. Let us see what you can do without the aid. Save for that of your lovely widow there. Don't you need to cast it or something?
with David. It seems to me that indeed, boy, your performance was sufficient when you passed my test. Thus, congratulations are in order to you and to your lovely leader. Now, farewell. Good to be back after all that. Say, what's that you have there? Where is your gold bracelet? Search for valuables. At face, Bahia still explore the molten cracks of black straw. However, the search proves fruitless. And there's a little reason to keep up with I think that maybe I was wrong about there being something here because I think I visit now. You exchange some words of consolation as you head back to the black wagon, but you should still have time to pursue pursue your vocations. Okay. Yeah, oh, of course, please tell me something I don't know, for there is lots of it. You and Faye review what observations you have made thus far, what the various triumvirates you have confronted on your journey. She has keen insight about some of them. It's scraps, they so inspire me, and now I feel that I have got somehow closer to them, maybe. On the why the scraps of the city let us go off, go free. We find Mickey having just put back his green pair family portrait with something of a wistful look in his eyes. Then something comes over him and he moves in close over in voice. Look, sister, I got a little review about something real, real quick. I think that I haven't been able entirely up front with you about my family situation. This day's away then. We ain't exactly as straight as I've been letting on. I mean, we do just fine and we've got lots of money stored away. It just mostly not that insane bond and he seems to catch himself in the middle of another pale pair and the events before you can respond one way or another. The situation is my mom back on the other side, she needs a little bit of help. Financially and otherwise. And all she's got now are my clever headed aunties to keep her steady. Always told her I'd make something of myself, you know. I was just a clerk in her shops. Things started getting tough for us, so I stopped looking for all kinds of different work. Got in with some unfamiliar swords, I guess, but the pay was real good. We took to shipping certain types of stuff down here, of all places, flashing straight down the river, what a cut. The day was right. Mom was so proud of me, we were eating real good all the time. But you can probably guess what happened. I barely slept by after they flashed me down here, would have been food for a bunch of hours that Jordan had bailed me out of a tough spot one fine evening. As for my mom, she doesn't know the half of it. My uncle told her I'm away on business. Not entirely well, true, I guess. But if she knew, I, it would break her poor heart. So, don't know how else to put it to the sister, but I want to get out of here. Get back to what I was doing back home. On the straight and now, though. I'll go straight this time for sure. As I'm not telling everybody that all good people is just a moment's point, okay? I got a certain reputation to uphold. He quickly scampers out the door. His past has been waking, weighing heavily on him, but you sense he is sincere about wishing to live an honest life. Magma provides a bit of warm on cold nights and something at which to not and stare. Yeah, actually, now we can see biography instead of mere observations. 
Okay. Let's continue again. Pretty nice to kill stuff. Here in the untamed flora of Black Base, <laughs> counter a messenger and come to deliver news and news from the other side. The news the sign pertains to Jodario, whom you liberated at the fall of Solium. During Jodario's past transgressions have all been forgiven. She soon was to be reinstated on the blood border on the presumption that she wanted her old status back. In fact, she was offered an especially prestigious leadership position in the first veil for women such as she could not be seen in the streets. But she refuses the gesture, rather bluntly the report suggests. Instead, she sought Wolfrat's agents, as well as several of her former foster sons and daughters, and so the ranks of the revolution grow stronger. The last part of the messenger Yung's news must have been damaged in transit, though appears to be Jodarius' own world. All you can tell is that it says, await. We thank the messenger Yung for relaying this information. The companions are excited to discuss the news. There's nothing she can handle, I miss her bad sometimes, but I'm glad she's alive. She is an inspiration to us all. Oh, to this night, she is at least. Caesar is fired up about the news of Tudarius' return to the Commonwealth. Do you think she still has her house now that she's back out there? You give it to whoever are daddy. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Wonder what the rest of her message says. The news of Tudarius' separation fill you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Deeds. I wish to be remembered not for boastfulness, thus I refrain from telling our exploits across the land, save to say that they were numerous. Know that only through our combined strength of arms and wit did we withstand this savage land, touch near with the monstrous dangers that it posed. I came to see that all the terrors which I heard at bedside in my youth were based entirely in fact. So great they were, they blotted out the sky. Such was the evil that, van that we ra vanquished, that the remnants of, of it yet shine under the stars, and in the end it was the stars which guided us towards our truest calling. The Nest of Triesta The ashen effigy of the nightmare titan Silva's horse headed wounds as dark as ever on the precipice of Black Basin, where her chaotic influence sundered the land itself until it wept with fire. The very instant that our graceful friend Triesta Titis finally laid to rest the greater titan with the power of the holy scepter of the empire, the stars shone down upon us all with blinding light. Triesta thought that she could bear her children in the warmth there, but alas. Now the stars revisit that locale with regularity. The fissures in the rock do pose more danger than one of invite. But the summons to the nest is to be honored. Okay, it's you guys! I just as I was thinking, hey, I haven't seen those guys in a little while and I wonder how they're doing and if they need maybe to profess anything. again sometime soon maybe okay because I gotta say you're my favorite customers I've had all week <laughs> As the sky grows dark over the nest of Triesta, a hush falls over your companions, especially Rookie. Ah, 
You sense something is troubling him, something to do with your next adversary. Oh, hey, sister, just want to let you know I'm back and ready to take on the dissidents this time. Sure, alright. But Barker is not so scary once you get to know him like I do, you know? So don't you worry, because I sure would be going easy on him after last time. As Ruth marches off toward the clearing, you notice know, his green fade away. In the distance, you hear the dissidents begin to hoot and howl. of the night winds you are returned once more onto the nest of triesta your adversaries in the coming right shall be the dissidents whose ever fire yet burns ere the break of dawn shall surge forward on the path to glory now prepare yourselves Hi mates, look at what we have here. Clinton, is that you? The air tracker is me alright. <laughs> I'll be you, so tell me something then, you uh, You gotta go against me this time, or keep on being a stinging girl like before, eh? What do I do? 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 What do, I do? Wait, what? Is this close to fight? If you can beat him, you can beat him, maybe. Maybe he will leave us alone, he will leave the green things alone. I can make it worth his while. Back here? What is this, baby? The race about to start. Oh, I was just thinking, I know I owe you and everything, but I've got a deal for you. You like a good deal, don't you? <laughs> I like good stuff more like it, but I'll buy it. Good deal, what's your fancy here? I was thinking, if I can beat you here, I'll square the way. You let me off the hook. <laughs> I see, I see, but tell me something new. Now why is this thinking what would I want to do a thing like that? What thing for me when I beat you instead? Then I will tell you double what I owe, I promise. But you have to promise too. First off. I really know double or nothing then, anyway. You try to hide back in the mail, but oh I drop it's a deal. You beat me and my back right here right now and you get here as far as I'm concerned. First if you don't, I'll be freezing you for all your worth. You, your stupid uncles and the dear of the old mother of yours. See you shortly then. Loki then turns to you. Hey, so, um, this one means a lot to me, you understand the sister? Let me go against these guys and I'll make sure we show them up, okay? Who shall stand together here this night? Ruki. Tizo. Alright, Ruth, let's give us everything we've got. Back at the Green Tail. Bring it on. Or it's your dear old mom who's gonna pay. Now begin. Assert themselves thusly. Hmm? There. Huh? Ruki plunged into their fire. What's my name, Tail? Me, please, you see the little nerves in the post out there. Just shut up, already, Parker. Let's get on with it. What did he say, eh? You think you can talk back to me like that, Green Tail? You heard me, Barker. Stay out of my damn way. What me? For oh, I see this little nervous teeth in your neck, old chum. 
That foolish Barker was a menace to the Commonwealth and is a blight upon the rights. to the adversary's flames. Remember everything which you hold dear. No more than a lick of flame remains. And it is done. The you-know-who prevail. It was as though the scribes themselves stood by their side. Thus end this night's proceedings. Ooh, ooh. We did it. We got him. Yeah. 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 As far as square as this stuff gets, what? Right? Um, uh, so, my family, you, you live alone? You said you'd leave them alone? He's out in green tail, this is you. Now then, me and my pack had better set it up for when we see you and your mates again. I'll be looking forward. Loki watches him depart and turns to you as his expression softens. I don't know what to tell your sister, <laughs> other than they really owe you one. There is much to learn from this experience. Until the next right. Having overcame the dissidents rather decisively, you find yourself back in the wagon and recovering from the night's ordeal with your companions. Everyone seems rather exhausted, you feel it yourself. The lone minstrel pulls you aside to discuss some of the particulars of the ride's outcome. You find yourself having difficulty following, you feel weary from all the recent travels. Ah, but I take rest, reader. It is no matter, anyhow. Though I was just about to step outside, if you dare to join me. You follow him outside, perhaps the night air shall do you some good, and everyone is likely wondering where the stars shall take you next. The stars yet shine for you within various paths to forward, you gaze into the darkness of night. I want to approach with Tanifa. Perhaps she will spare me at another moment of her time. She's here because of me, and I am here for her. Tanifa then tells you more of your next adversary, her own blood sister. Tanifa Time, a harp of the high wing remnants, raised from birth to excel in outwitting and outmaneuvering her enemies. She seems driven by her hatred for the Commonwealth. After retreating to the mountains centuries ago, perhaps we refused to join the Commonwealth and those old tensions boiled over into raids or skirmishes or all-out war. 
Flight tacticians are a stunning against the high wind remnants a swift and powerful military presence to this day, despite the hub's small numbers. She once hatched an ambitious plan to overthrow the Commonwealth, reaching its defenses so her sisters could rain down and throw destruction. On the darkest night of the year, she led a daring infiltration mission deep into her enemy's lands. It almost worked. However, she was betrayed by someone very close to her, someone branded a Commonwealth sympathizer, Tamifa. Tamifa was caught, clipped and subsequently exiled as a prisoner of war, but being trapped within the downside only stoked her fury. I found Apne here not too long afterwards, and me. It's complicated. What happened between us? What I did, I did for her own good and that of all our sister. Though so I'm begging to doubt that Tamika will ever see a way. I will say it I suppose, but for now I'll try my best and try and catch what's, what's in my neighbor. Pleasant dreams then, darling. You be the good night to Tamika in time. No time now to make flight preparations. Though you can though command the black way when we press on it. Dissidents. I myself have did form the dissidents under the simple tenant. Those who do not belong, belong. The older scribes, some of them show that the first reluctance to allow an imp and one accursed to designate one of the nine triumvirates, but Mur, the horned one, stubborn as he was, stood by my side. In time they came to understand, for I remained as ever at their side, a living bit of proof that of their absurdity. The dissidents are an extension of my oddity. Those who do not adhere, they are not to be discarded, underestimated or dismissed. They are as necessary as, as are those against whom they rebel. As you approach Ruki, you sense no one of his usual anxious energy. I'm free. Thank you, it was up to you, I return to form. I mean, I no, I'm not. I'm stuck down here with all the rest of you, and it just—it's like I finally got to sit aside this giant bag of rocks. I've been carrying around. You know what I mean? Wanted to say thanks, sister, for giving me a hand with the little situation between myself and Berke. I don't think I would have it any just an up to him unless I knew you and the others had my back. Now at last, my mama grandpa would get any trouble from him on the other side. She's still waiting for her rookie boy to come on home, but at least she won't be getting hassled by a bunch of nasty crew just because I struck a lousy deal. So yes, sister, if you ever need something, I owe you one, and then some cross up. He promises out of the way again a newfound lightness in his head. He thinks we hope permanently. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye.